Alright guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are taking a look at the Spindrift Shoulders. Uh, the Spindrift Shoulders is one of those few uh, pieces of gear that allow us to have an emblem on the shoulders. And also it's something that you guys have been asking uh, quite a lot, uh, not just recently, for quite some time. So today I thought uh, maybe we should make a video just for the Spindrift Shoulders. Uh, here it's covered with the chroma material, so let's use um, another little look uh, to look at the shoulders properly. And also there's two versions of the Spindrift Shoulders. There's a regular version that you're, that you're looking at right now. Basically it's only one color. Uh, you can apply only one color to the shoulders, even though we have up to four colors in this Universal line. And you can see here with the Flash Emblem, holy crap does look good. So if you want to have extra emblems on one of your character for reasons, this is an awesome option. And here you have the enhanced version of the Spindrift Shoulders. As you can see, there's uh, some texture in it. You can basically apply two colors to the, to the shoulders. Why place that there? And it will create that pattern on the shoulders. I'm going to take a look at a few uh, variations in just a minute in terms of looks. But where or oh, where can you get the Spindrift Shoulders? Let's take a look. Uh, the first answer is that it comes from the, uh, the Starro missions. But basically the deluge missions uh, when you play the deluge missions when you get a a box a box reward uh, there's a chance that you could get uh, the enhanced version from those boxes and there's also a chance that you could get uh, some spindrift gear from those boxes and uh, if you get the shoulders you would have the spindrift shoulders but if you want the enhanced version you can just buy it straight from the broker as you can see it's not that expensive obviously for a free-to-play player 250,000 it's way too much money but if you if you are a legendary player there's no reason you cannot get uh, 250,000 to purchase the shoulders if you want the regular version of the shoulders you could try to get it as a random drop from rewards but I would strongly suggest instead just come and see our little friend here the equipment star supplier have a fine day combatant so if you scroll down uh, pretty far in what the vendor is selling you will see the spender shoulder box it, it, it costs uh, 5 source marks and it costs 1500 cash. So assuming you do have the DLC, you could purchase it as early as level 10 if you like. Obviously, if you are a legendary player, you already own the DLC, so you can just purchase it from our little friend here. And you can see it's item level uh, level 10 all the way to item level 192. So it will scale to the level of your character, but it won't scale any higher than level 192. So if you purchase the NS version from the broker, you only purchase the style, but if you purchase it from this little guy here, you actually do purchase a piece of gear. And for the NS version of the shoulders, if somehow you do not like the, the pattern that you get on the shoulders, you can just cover them up with a material. Here you can see my evil Ultraman with uh, the gold material covering uh, the NS version of the Spindrift shoulders. Although you have to be careful, uh, it depends on the material. Let me show you. Although you have to be a bit careful, some of the materials, like, like the glowing material, are semi-transparent. So even if you do use the material, uh, the glowing material, on the spindle shoulders, as you can see, you can still have the texture on the, on the shoulders. So if you're planning to use a glowing material and you want the, the piece of gear to be uh, even, you have to use the regular version of the Spindrift. If you use the regular spin drift with the glowing material, you will get a nice even uh, glowing uh, shoulder piece. So if you want to have a Red Hood character with um, some extra Batman emblems, or the evil Arkham Knight, or if you want to make an evil Red Lantern with some extra Red Lantern emblems, here you can see again it's the enhanced version of the, the shoulders, so you can see the texture. It does add a bit of a, of a texture to the character, like it does make it as if it's battle-worn. Or if you want to make your evil Black Lantern, in this case uh, Black Lantern Batman, even more awesome, again those shoulders are perfect for that. It allows you to have some really nice emblems on your character's shoulder if you want to, if it matches with the look uh, that you're trying to get with your character. Well, let's get here, I love this portrait. So that is uh, pretty much it for the Spindrift uh, shoulders. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. 
And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.